As disgusting as it might seem to you, I am a pretty big fan of the Xbox brand. It's where my friends are, it's where my games are, it's just something I've put in a lot of years of investment into. Due to backwards compatibility, games with gold, and again, my friends being on this platform, it pays itself off pretty well. Every platform has their advantages and disadvantages, and I will say that Xbox is kind of lacking some advantages, I'll totally admit that, I'm not an Xbox fanboy, I'm just simply a fan of the platform itself. But the Xbox One X has given me the best console gaming experience I've ever had, and even some of the best gaming experiences I've ever had. Overall, I'm just pleased with the platform, and I don't know, I don't have too many complaints, but there are some things I'd like to see at XO 2018 that would hopefully make me a happier Xbox owner. If super high-end gaming PCs didn't exist, the Xbox One X's power would be more than enough to make me a satisfied customer, but I am feeling like I want a little more, and I think Microsoft should dedicate the next four years of the Xbox brand to making Xbox players feel proud to be Xbox players. A lot of Xbox-centered YouTubers and people that talk about Xbox positively, they kind of seem like they're scratching the bottom of the barrel fighting some arbitrary war over who has the better toy. But like I've said before on my channel, Playstations and Xboxes are pretty similar to one another. What's different is where your friends are, what games are exclusive, and what features you want. I can't justify spending the money on a PlayStation because there's only a handful of exclusives that I'd want to play, and I barely have time to play the story-centered games that I want to on my Xbox. I don't know how I would fit in a Nintendo Switch or a PlayStation. So for now, I'm sticking with PC, and I'm sticking with Xbox, and I'm sticking with my Nintendo DS. And, I don't know, I just don't have any patience for, buy a PlayStation, I'll say, oh sure, I will, just for the six games that I might potentially have time to play sometimes. In terms of multi-platform games, the Xbox One X in the console market is unmatched in power, speed, and performance, and that's just what I'm after right now. I mostly play multi-platform games, you guys know I'm an FPS channel. There aren't really any FPS games coming out only on PlayStation. All I ask is you try to stay civil in the comment section, but if you're an insecure twat that needs to defend their console purchase, whether you're an Xbox fan or a PlayStation fan, or a PC player who's gonna say something along the lines of 120 FPS 4K, I don't know, just maybe just fuck off. All right, so with XO 2018, the first thing I'd like to see is some exclusives. Now, exclusives don't sell me on platforms that often. I think the Spider-Man game, Horizon Zero Dawn, or God of War, they look great on PlayStation for sure. And I'd like some games like that on Xbox. I mean, exclusive games do need to be part of the reason you buy a gaming console, and so I'd like to see more. They don't sell me on the platform specifically, but I would like to see some for just Xbox fans in general, and hopefully some would catch my eye. I'm still trying to get around to play Quantum Break, and I don't know, every time it goes on sale, I think, I don't have time to play this, so I don't have time to play this. But hopefully at XO 2018, we see a list of exclusive games. Even if it's remasters, I don't really care, I just like to see some more games. That says, only on Xbox, even if it's Xbox Play Anywhere. I know a lot of people get a bee in their bonnet over the fact that you can play a lot of Xbox exclusives on PC, but I'm really not that petty. I think it's pro-consumer. I think it's cool that I own Forza Horizon 3 and 4 on Xbox, and if I was somewhere where I only had access to a, com a gaming PC, I could play those games. That's more bang for my buck. That's more value for me. I'm not going to complain about that. Speaking of exclusives, the next thing I want to see is some Halo Infinite news. There's not much to say here, I just would like to hear a little bit more. I want to know, is it open world? Is it more conventional Halo? Is it a return to form? How has the art style changed? Just like a, like a little 30 second teaser of Master Chief killing a grunt with a plasma grenade would be great. Just a little taste test. On the topic of Halo, I would also like to see some information about Halo Reach. I want to know if Halo Reach is coming to Master Chief Collection, or if it's just getting its own separate remaster. Halo Reach is kind of divisive, but I love the game. I mean, I love Halo 3, I have a fun spot in my heart for Halo 1 and 2, I even enjoy Halo 4, and I've had fun playing custom matches in Halo 5. I'm a Halo fan, but I haven't felt really close to Halo in a while, and a Halo Reach remaster would be great. Instead of playing it in the sub-HD 30fps that it is on the 360 version, it'd be great to play it at 4K 60fps like the other Halo games, even just 1440p. God, I sound spoiled. I mean, either way, a higher resolution 60fps Halo Reach would be amazing. I think all of the art in the game holds up, 
so they don't need to do any big massive overhauls but i just want that game to come back into popularity and hopefully if they bring it into the mcc they and i know they won't but they hopefully will keep all of the progression systems from halo reach that'd be awesome halo reach has one of my favorite progression systems in any halo game and in any fps game so Hopefully we see that return if Halo Reach gets a remaster or gets an addition to the MCC. Now this next one's kind of a running meme. The Xbox UI at launch was awful, the Xbox UI about a year later was awful, the Xbox UI has just never been that great. The user interface is just kind of slow and clunky. And as much as Xbox has tried to speed it up and get new iterations of it, and of course it's a lot better now, it's more than usable, it's, it is fast in a lot of ways, but it's slow in others. I would love to see Microsoft address this and actually overhaul the UI. I doubt we'll see that here at XO18. They've done a lot of updates to the current UI. I doubt they're going to do any more, but I would love to see a speed increase of some kind, at least for the Xbox One X. I'm sorry, Xbox and Xbox One S owners, but I've thought for the last year that Xbox One X could probably use its own UI and be a lot faster. But it's kind of a null point, the UI is fine for now, and I, I don't think it desperately needs a fix or anything, but I would just like to see some mention of a UI speedup. If the Xbox One and X family goes through its entire life cycle, and the UI is still the way it is by the end of it, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. It, it's kinda clunky. I enjoy the layout, it's just not very smooth. Now at XO18, the next thing I'd like to see is a price drop on the Xbox One X down to $400. It's been out for a year, I've gotten my year's worth of fun out of it, I'm okay if they drop the price $100. I doubt they'll do it, but I think it'd be really great for Xbox One and Xbox One S owners because they're gonna be kinda left behind, and Red Dead Redemption has shown us this. Red Dead Redemption on the original Xbox and Xbox One S doesn't even really run at 1080p, it runs at like 870p. That original Xbox One hardware is just not very good. So hopefully they give people more offers and more ways to get an Xbox One X. They also have the all access thing, but I'm not gonna get into that here, it's basically a phone plan but you get an Xbox instead of a phone. The next thing I want to see, and this one's also pretty small, and this is a uh, Xbox brand accessories. Now, these might be overpriced because it is Xbox brand, but I'd like to see more headsets being produced by Microsoft specifically for the Xbox One X. Also, the Xbox One doesn't have any USB headset support, and that's kind of sad. I know we're getting a keyboard and mouse for Xbox for certain games like City Skylines or other like real-time strategy games. And I know they allow you to use third-party webcams on the Xbox One. But third-party is third-party, and I'd kind of like to see some more stuff straight from Xbox that's high quality. Some nice, high-quality, affordable accessories for Xbox owners would be great. And honestly, the only thing I can think of is better headsets, but there's tons of third-party ones. I don't really know what I mean by this, but it does segue into my next point, which is still basically this point is at XO18, I want to see the new Elite Controller, the Xbox Spider Controller, as it's been nicknamed. I love my Xbox Elite Controller, I really do. But it would be great to see a more modernized, higher quality version of it, because apparently it's going to be $150. It's not going to be any less than the Xbox Elite Controller. And since I got my Elite Controller on sale for $60, I honestly don't mind buying a new Xbox controller. So. Hopefully, it's pretty damn cool, and if it doesn't have RGB lighting, it just hasn't earned my money. And the last big one here, and a lot of you guys saw this coming, is what I want to see at XO18 is Kingdom Hearts, the story so far. I'm sure a lot of you are clicking off at this point, but look, Kingdom Hearts 3 comes to Xbox January 29th, and that day gets closer every passing day. It's right around the corner. It's in two months. Okay, more like three months, but... Still, I mean, there's no reason to not give Xbox players a collection that was made for the US only, that has a nice friendly title, and doesn't say only on PlayStation in the top right corner on this box art. Now, the 1.5 plus 2.5 box didn't either, but I just feel like this needs to come to Xbox. I've heard people come up with a multitude of excuses, like, well, Kingdom Hearts games will come to Xbox when Halo comes to PlayStation. Well, here's the thing. If Halo 5 was going to come to PlayStation, I would say, hey, give them the Master Chief Collection as well so they're not just dropped in the middle of a very complex, long-spanning story. 
how do you expect to sell people on something as weird as Kingdom Hearts without giving them any context? That's a tragic business plan, Square Enix and Microsoft, if that's the case. But lots of things point to it happening. Like I said, this is a US only release. PlayStation just got a Kingdom Hearts collection in 2017. I know Square likes to milk their products, but do they really think PlayStation fans need the 1.5 plus 2.5 collection from 2017 and then also the story so far? Are they just gonna start getting a Kingdom Hearts collection every fucking year? And I'm pretty sure if you pre-ordered Kingdom Hearts 3 on PS4, you got the Kingdom Hearts collection. PlayStation has had enough Kingdom Hearts. If you're willing to take the new game, put it on the Xbox, and have it be the best version on the Xbox One X, I might add, you are just not gonna let players experience Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, at least? I mean, 1, 2 and Dream Drop Distance would be the least you can do. I will be extremely disappointed if they don't do this. Again, if an Xbox franchise was getting its newest release on PlayStation, I would want PlayStation to have the other previous releases. And I know some people have also said that, oh, those games were made for the original PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3, and it just wouldn't work on an Xbox. Well, the PlayStation 4 architecture and the Xbox architecture are very similar. I see no reason why they could port over PS2 and PS3 games to the PlayStation 4, but it just wouldn't run on an Xbox. That doesn't make any sense. Also, Square Enix is releasing a ton of Final Fantasy games on Xbox, from Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy World, Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy The Zodiac Age, and more and more and more. Like, they're doing a lot of JRPG stuff on Xbox. I can't imagine Square Enix thinks that Xbox players want to play Final Fantasy VII, a game from the 90s, a turn-based JRPG from the 90s, but don't want to play Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 in preparation for Kingdom Hearts 3. Keep your brand loyalty bullshit to yourself. Clearly they want Xbox players to play the new Kingdom Hearts. Why wouldn't you want them to be able to play the old ones? It just seems really petty and really shitty to act like that. I've brought this up before and just been told, Haha, fuck you, just buy a PlayStation. It's like, no, I'm sorry. I'm excited that the new one's coming out on Xbox. I mean, sure, I can play every Kingdom Hearts game on different emulators on my computer. I played through Kingdom Hearts 1, Chain of Memories, and 2 on my computer at 60 FPS, full HD. But Kingdom Hearts, the story so far, Xbox One X Enhanced, would be more than worth, like, any amount of money to me. It just would be great to play those games in 4K, maybe even 4K HDR, it would be fantastic, and it would be great to bring people into one of my favorite gaming franchises of all time. So that's basically what I want from EXO 2018. I want Kingdom Hearts, I want Halo Infinite news, I want Halo Reach remastered or something. I want people to have more affordable ways to get an Xbox One X. I want Xbox brand accessories. I want to see that new Xbox controller. I want to see if they want to overhaul the UI for the Xbox one last time before the next consoles come out. And I want us to have a plethora of new exclusives to get excited about. Microsoft brought on a lot of new companies to work underneath them, and hopefully we get to see some exclusives from that. So anyway, that's it for this commentary, and yeah, let me know what you guys want to see from XO 2018. And again, keep your petty fanboy shit to yourself. I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye.